Hello everybody, this is Clarence from the Clarence B. Trippin' channel talking on behalf of SHU, South Hustler University, one of the few universities that's totally unaccredited and we have absolutely no credibility whatsoever in our experiences and we shall give them to you right now for free. So don't sit back, put this video on pause if you want get a pen or crayon and take some notes because you're going to get a lot of information packed into these five six seven minutes it's probably more closer to six to seven minutes here so if you like this video want to ask a question or comments or even maybe subscribe go to the appropriate section to do so and what's cool <laughs> about this channel is you can watch as long as you like but I guarantee you this, if you stay to the end of this video, you will get valuable information that can catapult you to new heights by listening and practicing these quick tips. So let's get it started. Ain't nobody got time for that. We're going to talk about Amazon Flex, how to deliver packages efficiently. And we're gonna give you quick tips. Since these are quick tips, these tips are not in any particular order. I will give them random letters. And also note, if you have any other ideas or tips or questions, by all means, put them in the comment section. So this is for Amazon fresh deliveries only. And we will make more videos on other types of deliveries in the future. When you have been assigned packages, you will get an orange bar on your Flex app that says scan 22 packages for example you should have a cart number to give you a cart number like for example cart number five swipe the orange bar and then you will have the ability to scan the packages with the barcodes on the package go to that specific cart and start scanning so here's quick tip a take your time and make sure that each package that you scan has been scanned keep doing this until all the packages had been scanned. All the packages have been scanned. The reason that you take your time is because if you miss a package, if you miss scan it, or if you don't scan it, you may have to look for that package again that you didn't scan. Trust me, you will be wasting time trying to look for that package. Quick tip B, number B. Purchase a foldable cart so that you don't have to make more than two trips back and forth to your car. I'll put a link and, uh, down below so you can take a look at it. I purchased one of these on Amazon when I first started. And I didn't have a cart and I had 11 packages that needed to go up two flights of stairs and it took much longer and effort to complete the job. I was mad as hell because the customer requested that they wanted the bags to be brought to the second floor. The customer was taller and stronger than me, obviously, and he could have taken those packages from the first floor to the second floor. All right? Jeez. Next time they can do it themselves. Thank you very much. Here's quick tip E. Make sure that you double check the address before you get out the car. When you verify that the address is correct, check for any notes that the customer has for you. Um, they may want you to put the packages on the back porch, front porch, side, or it just may say no recipient required. And so that's all you have to do is just leave it on the porch or on the front porch or in a safe area. Then indicate on the app where you put the packages, then take a picture of it then swipe and then you're going on to the next delivery. Now here's a note. If you don't f follow the sequences properly, you may miss a step and it may take you longer to deliver all those packages which can make you late for one of those packages. I think you might want to write this down as one of the most important pieces of information you need to be successful with this side hustle. Efficiency matters. The more efficient you are with delivering these packages, the more likelihood that you will be on time. If you are not on time, it could affect your standing and your perks with Amazon Flex. 
and you could possibly be deactivated. All right, here's the last one. It's Quick Tip X. Double check and make sure that you have the right number of packages to the addresses or the address that you are delivering to. Now, I make sure that I have the right number of packages and that they all have the same three letter code for that delivery. And after that, you can put the packages at the right address at the right spot and on time. <laughs> so that's it, everybody. I hope that you got some good information here on this video. Um, once again, if you like, comment, have a question, or subscribe if you want. And let me know if you have anything else that you want to add to these quick tips. I'm Clarence from the Clarence B. Trippin' channel here on YouTube. I said that it'd only be about six or seven minutes, and I meant that. So you know how in my videos, I'm signing off, but before I go, you just gotta know. Let's get that bag, hustlers.